It was race day in Baku. Leclerc started from pole position, right in front of Verstappen, while the temperatures were higher than earlier. That weekend, almost all the drivers started on the medium tire, expect for Nick de Vries. Who started on the hard tire. Akan and Hulkenberg were starting from the pit lane. Leclerc was able to keep the lead after the start. No major contacts were made during that first few corners. At the end of lap 1, Verstappen was very close to Leclerc on the main straight but was not able to get Leclerc. Stroll and Russell both won two places at the start while Bottas lost five positions. It was Albon who hit Piastri slightly in turn 2 and he touched Bottas. Perez was able to stay close to Leclerc and Verstappen during the opening laps. Before turn 1 in lap 4, Verstappen was able to get Leclerc with his DRS. Two laps later, Perez was able to do the same to Leclerc. Sainz was not able to follow his teammate closely, and had Hamilton and Alonso nearby him. Behind Alonso was teammate Stroll, who told his engineer that he wouldn't attack Alonso. So early in the race, Albin Gasly and Bottas were stopping before lap 8 to switch to the hard tire, right before Alonso would overtake Hamilton in lap 10. Hamilton boxed because of his rear tires were gone. Hamilton got back on track in P13, while Perez was closing the gap to Verstappen a bit. At the end of lap 10, Verstappen boxed and Perez got the lead, while there was a yellow flag because of Dee Vries, who hit the wall again. Then it went to a safety car situation, while Verstappen just got back on track. Perez Leclerc, Sainz Alonso and Stroll pitted at the end of lap 11, and when the cars got back on track, it was Perez who was still in the lead, in front of Leclerc, and Verstappen was in P3. He had bad luck with that safety car. In lap 14 we got back on speed, and Leclerc was very close to Perez, but not able to overtake. In turn 3 it was Verstappen who took Leclerc's place, Alonso passed Sainz for P4, Hamilton passed Russell for P7 after the end of lap 14. Stroll touched the wall slightly in lap 16, but he was able to continue. In lap 18, Alonso told his engineer that Stroll should use the same brake balance as him because that would be better for the car. Hamilton was able to take P6 from Stroll in lap 20. After he made another mistake at the end of the lap, Leclerc wasn't able to follow Verstappen and already was 8 seconds behind. Carlos Sainz was in P5 behind Alonso. After 50% of the race was completed, it was clear that the Red Bulls were a different class. In lap 33 it was Gasly who overtook Bottas for P18. At this point, it was just a matter of who was able to keep their hard tires alive till the end. In lap 36 Verstappen was 2 seconds behind Perez. In lap 37, who had to show. box and retire the car because of an issue. Hamilton was closing into Sainz for P5 with 11 laps and to go. Got DRS. The Mercedes just isn't quick enough. Even with DRS, with 7 laps to go, Hamilton asked his team if there was still some more power left. The team was looking into it. Akan and Hulkenberg were in P10 Nine. but had not made their stop yet. They started from the pit lane on the hard tires. Norris wasn't gonna wait on that and overtook Hulkenberg for P10. Two laps later, Sonata did the same thing. One lap later, it was Piastri who overtook Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg wanted to pit, but the team told him to stay outside because they were hoping for a late safety car. Albin overtook Hulkenberg as well, and teammate Magnussen did the same. With two laps to go, Russell boxed to get the fastest lap. He did not lose a position with that and was still in P8. Perez was able to win the Grand Prix of Baku. Behind him, Verstappen finished in P2, Leclerc in P3, and Alonso, and Sainz in P4 and P5. Hamilton got P6, Stroll P7, Russell P8, Norris P9, and Sonata P10. Russell got the fastest lap in the end. Did you enjoy this highlights video?